I want to tell you a story about a couple, 40th anniversary. We have less and less of these in modern day America. They're driving up from Denver, 45 minutes, to come to eat at my restaurant. It's a Friday evening, 40th anniversary, super important. They get stuck in tr uh, rush hour traffic. Their tensions get really intense. They have a six o'clock reservation on a Friday. They wanted a seven o'clock. We only had a six o'clock. She's upset with him for not leaving work early. He's upset with her because she didn't think his work was important enough that day. They had a project due. They pull into Boulder. There's no parking. And they're now 25 minutes late for their six o'clock reservation. They walk in the front door of Frosca. They're completely blown out. And this is their 40th wedding anniversary, a huge accomplishment of celebration. And they're blown out. They get seated at the best table that we have because they had told us on the reservation that it was their 40th anniversary. We go to pour them, um, and our server, Rose, who's been with us since opening night, has the idea that it's a 40th anniversary. She goes to pour them a little glass of white wine, and the wife lashes out at her. What are you doing? I didn't order this. And Rose said, of course not. This is from me to start your evening and let you relax and look at the menu. I knew you were stuck in rush hour. Rose has taken care of what we call hospitality intervention. <laughs> and it's very important that she was able to do that. People like Rose, uh, we have an Italian restaurant, so people like Rose that conduct the authentic act of hospitality, we call them a hospitalian. <laughs> so I want to talk to you about the difference between service and hospitality. We have it all wrong in the United States. We think service and hospitality is the same. There's actually awards, the Service and Hospitality Award. They're not interchangeable. They're different. Service would be what I would do if I took the spaghetti con ricci and took it to your table and served from the left perfectly and smiled and said, Bon appetito. I would have done something to you. Hospitality is not thinking of yourself, thinking of the other person and making them feel different, changing how they feel. I was on vacation last year and I ate, my, my wife and I love traveling and we're in the restaurant business, we eat a lot. And we're at a Michelin three-star restaurant in Paris and that's the highest award in, in restaurant touring. And we ate at a restaurant that had a wonderfully curated staff, the greatest maitre d' in Paris, the hottest young sommelier in Paris, captains that were mercenaries from all the other great Michelin three stars. And we had a wonderful meal, torque canard, table side, dollop of caviar on the wild turbo. Every box was clicked to perfection. We walked out into the Parisian night and we had a, a perfect meal. But something was missing. The next night, we had an easy jet flight to Modena, Italy, 69 bucks, ate at Ostria Francescana, restaurant Michelin three stars, just became top three restaurant in the world. Any restaurant that could rest on their laurels and not go the extra bit could be them. They changed the night. The chef in his crispy white chef's coat and his lime green New, New Balance Sneakers comes into this stoic dining room and checked on all the tables individually, 12 tables. We had an anniversary, my wife and I on vacation, six businessmen and a young chef from London, a young, a young line chef, the lowest on the total pole. Chef Massimo Batura sees that this young man's taking a photo, takes him to the back to the kitchen and shows him how he made the last dish, the bolita misto, non bolito. It would be like us being at a Rolling Stones concert and Mick Jagger grabbing you out of the second floor and taking you backstage and hopefully Keith Richards doesn't get you into the wrong stuff. But <laughs> he changed that young man's life. Their staff changed our evening, wrote down where to have coffee the next morning, where to stop on the road to Tuscany. They showed hospitality. Completely different experience. 
I know what you're thinking. Well, Bobby, you're in the restaurant business. Of course you think that's important. I do. But I think we need to think that hospitality is important, not just in a restaurant, not just in a spa or a luxury hotel. Hospitality is the secret weapon that we need all of us to partake in. We need leaders of industry. We need tech CEOs. We need bankers. We need college admissions people to use hospitality because it's about looking out instead of looking in, and it's hard to do. And I know every one of you knows how to do it, but you think, no, I'm not in that business. Thanksgiving's around in two months. You're going to have that crazy aunt (laughs) or crazy uncle or sister's boyfriend that drives you nuts. I have a crazy aunt. I don't even think she likes me. 45 years old. I open the door. I give her a bear hug, and I bring her a glass of wine. She hates it. Bring her a second glass of wine. She doesn't like it. Remind you, uh, I'm a master sommelier. She should like one of these. I pour her a glass of Polini Morache, and she says, that'll do. Sits down, puts two ice cubes in it. Oh, my like... <laughs> And I'm like... My job is to make Aunt Gail feel great. (laughs) And every one of you have done that on Thanksgiving or a holiday in December or a family function where you have to overcome that person that comes at you aggressively, just like Rose did, and you make them feel great. Then why do we stop doing hospitality the other 364 days of the year? Every one of us can do great hospitality. It's free. It doesn't take extra people. It just takes you all to think, I can look outward and help someone else. And you'll be better with your workmates, with the people who work underneath you. Think if you're a leader, you can lead people better. So I think every one of us can do great hospitality. I'm asking you, tonight when you go out into the evening, let's try it all. A couple days a year, and then a couple weeks a year, and then 365 days a year. Thank you so much, Boulder. Thank you.